Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. We're going to bring back the Try Hack Me rooms that I haven't done in quite some time. So today we're going to be doing Dodge from Try Hack Me. So if you guys haven't done it, let's get through the walkthrough and have some fun. You know the deal. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let's jump into it and get to work. Okay, folks. So here we are on the desktop. So if you guys are following along or if there is another technique, because I know there's multiple ways to skin a cat. If there's any techniques that you use and I didn't use those, you know, put that in the comments. I always like to learn different techniques, so go for it. So I did start off the box. Let's go ahead and make sure we can just ping it first. And it said it takes about 46 minutes. So I did wait and let's see if uh, we get anything cooking here. So let's ping it. I did do an Nmap scan as well just for time's sake. So let's just go ahead and cat dodge.txt. And let's see what we have here. We have port 22 open, which is SSH. Okay, open SSH 8.2. Port 80, port 443. And then we have some DNS names. So what we look like, what it looks like we're gonna have to do is take these DNS names, we'll copy this, and then we'll throw it into our host file. So let me just go ahead and do this really quick. Paste this here, and I'll make this bigger uh, right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and delete this, and then we'll paste this into into our file just to make sure it's it's easy. And let's get this done. All right, so let's copy this. I'm gonna go to go ahead and copy. All right, so let's go ahead and open up. Let's cat really quick Etsy hosts. And we don't have it in here yet, so let's go ahead and do a little nano action. And what is my IP address? 10, 10, 89, 52. 10, 10, 89, 52. Tab, paste, all right save that file and let's just go ahead and just do cat it out again and we can see it here all right so now technically we can utilize these and try to get to them on the website so let's just go ahead and dodge that let's go ahead and start here let's go like this and let's do a little https okay all right let's see advance nada you don't have permissions to access this resource. Okay, that's fair. Let's see if we can do dub, 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 w, dub, dub. All right, so let's do dub, dub, dub. Let's see if there's uh, anything that works here. All right, we got some action here. Let's see what we got here. Home, about us, services, blog, contact us. It's not really login, maybe a login screen, nothing. All right, so there's, everything's just going right to the index.html, so there's nothing really there. What about, all right, let's go to try to do blog. Copy that, whoops. And let's go ahead and paste that here. Let's see if we get any action here. All right, so let's just go ahead and see if we can go to dot. I'm gonna, I don't know, for some reason, I'm gonna go ahead and should have went to the, the other way. Let's see if there's anything here. Nada, shit. All right, so let's go ahead and do net, net ops dash dev. I don't know, this looks pretty, uh, this looks pretty cool. All right, so if we look at the 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 tab up here, it says firewall upload logs. Let's look at the source code of this. All right, so it looks pretty, let's go down. Okay, so if we see down here, I don't know if you can see, let me zoom that in. Down here, there's cf.js and then firewall.js. So let's go ahead and try to open up this and then this in a new tab and see what we have here. Um, there's really nothing here, right? Nothing really, nothing there. Uh, let's go ahead and X out of here so I don't... 
All right, so what it's doing, it's fetching. It's going to call firewall 10 or 1011.php. So if I copy this and we come back here and we, whoops, and if we paste this at the end and we take off here, we should get something, no? Oh, I, I spelled firewall wrong. I forgot the F here. Okay, cool. So it looks like we have firewall rules. And that makes sense, right? Because the whole the whole thing here is going to test your pivoting and network invasion skills. So it looks like there's a firewall here. So it looks like we're going to have to bypass this firewall or do something. So in Linux, as you guys know, or you may not know, this is going to, so if you have a firewall log or anything like that, you're going to go ahead and allow that traffic to traverse through your, your network, right? So if you don't know, let's just Google it because this is what we do, right? How to allow a Linux firewall port, okay? So you can see here different kinds of ways. Let's see. Uh, Let's do Linux uh, F, FWU, I think. Let's see for an example, UFW, that's what I meant. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so it's pretty much sudo UFW allow whatever, right? So now let's go back here. And we knew from our nmap scan let's go ahead and go back to the nmap scan okay we know there's uh hmm these are the ports that are open it's not showing us that's closed but if we come back here we can see ftp deny so maybe we can allow ftp to to work. So what we can do is do a little sudo oh, right here. Sudo UFW allow 21. So if we hit enter here and submit that, it says rule updated, right? So technically, if we just do something like nmap, nmap, not nano, nmap port 21, and let's go ahead and just get the IP address, right? So this is the IP address paste what the hell that's not what i did oh shit all right let's do that again i don't know what the hell happened all right i don't know why i did that but port 21 uh 10.10. 10. was it 89.52 all right so now that is open so that's allowing FTP to come in now, right? So now let's go ahead and just do a little um, FTP anonymous to, oh, is it 52 or 89.52, okay? And we can hit enter and let's see if we could do an LS. All right, so it says enter, enter in extended passive mode so let's just kill this really quick and just do passive right here. And now we have passive mode off. If you get that, just type in passive and you should be good. Now we can do LS LSA or LS LA. So now we can see that we have some directories here. All right, so let's go ahead and just like CD into .ssh. Let's do the same command. And we can go ahead and download these Right, we can download these author, uh, authorized keys and then the backup, because if we have that, then we should be golden, right? So let's go ahead and just get uh, authorized keys. I just wanna copy this and then paste it here, right? Just so we have that here, okay. And let's get backup, just so we can have everything good to go. All right, so now we have everything there. All right, so now we can just type in exit, ls, or we can do ls, lsa, or la. 
and we have everything here now that we need. So let's go ahead and cat authorized keys for an example. All right, so this is a key. All right, so it looks like if you see, whoops, shit. If you see here, right here, if you see challenger at uh, try hack me. So let's go ahead and just copy this and we can do SSH uh, 89, right? So it's 89.52, yes. And okay, this is good. I'm glad this did this. So now what we have to do is change permissions to, so let's do chmod 600 and then hit the up arrow again and it should be golden. There we go. All right, so now we are in, right? So now we can do ls-la, and now we should see this user.txt, perfect. So let's go ahead and cat user.txt. All right, so this is the first flag now. So let's go ahead and copy this flag and paste that here. Submit, perfect. Look at that, 119 days. Bing bong, how you doing? All right, so that's the first flag right here, right? So let's go ahead and minimize this now. All right, so now, since we're in here, we can see like bash history, bash logout, but bash history. So let's go ahead and cat dot bash history. <clears throat> All right, so we have cat, um, we can try to cat out the, so whoever, I'm guessing it's challenger, right? They catted post.php, right? But we don't know where post.php is, right? So we can, I have a cheat sheet because I don't do this every single day. So I will probably just copy it. Oh, I don't, I can't even copy it because I have a snippet of it. So it's pretty much let me see if I can even see that snippet. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do, so it's, let me go ahead and do stu find. And then it's gonna be backslash you name, or name, sorry. So I'm gonna look for the name, and the name is gonna be post.php, because that's what we found, right? And then to, bop, bop, bop. And then we're gonna go ahead and dev null. Right, I always say null dev, but okay. So now we'll find this and see where it sits at. And we'll give that a moment. Hopefully I did that right. Hopefully I took my notes correctly and we'll see in a second. And while that's cooking, I wanna take a sip of tea. And there we go. Okay, so it's in var www notes API. So now what we can do, we can copy this. Now we can cat that out. All right, what is, what, what's in here? All right, so it looks like it's a base64 code. All right, so now let's go ahead and just copy this. Copy this bad boy. And then what we can do is just type in uh, EACO and then paste and then uh, base64, right? Uh, shit, base64, and then dash D. All right, so we have, I'm actually gonna copy this just to have this in my notes. Of course, notes is everything, right? All right, so it looks like Cobra, and then we have a password now here, right? So now let's go ahead and try to log into Cobra and use this password. Go ahead and copy this. All right, so now we're good here. Let's go ahead and SU to uh, Cobra, Cobra, and then paste that password, enter. Hopefully it worked. Oh, this fail. Is it this whole thing? Uh, I wonder what's gonna be the password. See if I can, 
do, 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 do. All right, so let me uh, let's try it again. All right, let's try that one more time. S U Co Bra. Maybe I no, I spelled it right, right? I just checking. Paste. Enter. There we go. Maybe I copied it. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But L S. Let's see who who am I? I'm Cobra now. Good. So now let's do for an example sudo dash L. See what's cooking. All right, so we have user bin apt. All right, so now what we can do is do some privesc. So with that privesc, we can go out to our favorite, where is it? Uh, GTFO bins. And we can just do like apt here. All right, and let's see if we can just update sudo. Let's copy this and paste that bad boy here. Enter. All right, who am I? I'm root. All right, so let's cat root, or let's go ahead and uh, cd to root ls cat root.txt. All right, <clears throat> so it looks like we got it. Copy this, and let's go back to our root flag and submit and voila congratulations we did it so that is it for today guys so hopefully you found this informative if there's another way that you guys did it put it in the comments and i'm open to hear how you guys accomplished this room this was actually a pretty decent room i like this room so kudos to try hack me and thank you so much for viewing and until next time have a beautiful day